Hey, hello, water signs. How are you guys? Welcome. Welcome. Hey, let me adjust my lighting a little bit. I'm looking a little washed out. Something's a little different. You know, you, you, some, some tricks cannot be achieved with lighting. There we go. That looks better. Uh, feels better. <clears throat> All right. I do have a little bit of sacred sage going. That is a stick of Palo Santo in there next to it. Uh, the sage is down at so the ash. Does wonderful um, for neutralizing energy. Um, it helps me welcome in beings of the light. It helps me get in um, and eliminate the negative energy. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. Um, if some of you are new to the channel, you can see the paranormal flashlight there um, above me. That is just a regular six inch mag light that we use for paranormal research. And I use it when I'm doing my personal and private readings. You know, I can tell you that I see, hear, and feel spirit when they're in the room, but how do you know? So I incorporated the light. I only invite in beings of the light to help with it and to assist. All right. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, my water signs today. Let's go here. What's what's on the threshold for three mini readings, starting with Cancer. All right, Cancer, what's on the horizon for you here? All right, pulling two off the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> All right, Cancer, let's see what's happening for you. Change, change, change. Change. Um, we have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands coming up. Um, this change, you've been waiting for this. You've been trying to manifest this, Cancer. Um, you... We're dealing with somebody who kind of kept you dangling and hanging. Um, they breadcrumbed you. They just left enough pieces and breadcrumbs for you to just think that they were interested they kept you hanging they kept you dangling um you didn't see it kind of had a blind eye turned towards it you were expecting a little different energy we have the six of pinnacles here um that six of pinnacles is all about something coming back into balance thank you spirit on the light um, yeah, they kind of left you dangling for a little bit. And that Six of Pentacles is telling me that, well, there it was. I mentioned breadcrumbing and take a look at what he's doing. He's giving them some crumbs, giving them something. Cancer, you had been looking at this situation for quite a while, wondering what, um, where, you know, where's the opportunity at here? Somebody's referring to opportunity all the time. You're hearing other tarot readers. You're hearing my tarot readings. Uh, there's opportunity coming, but where in the heck it's looking like chaos to you? Because that's the mindset that you have right now. You have got to get into a positive state of mind. Um, you've got to lift your vibe up in order for those better things to happen. Um, that was the Seven of Cups, and we also have the Seven of Pentacles. You know, that that's all about you watching it happen to you. You need to take a little more active approach with this. You need to work on that energy level. You're absolutely attracting what you're thinking about. And it'll do you some good if you do, because there is the happily ever after card. That's the Ten of Cups. 
Um, doesn't get a whole lot better than that. I mean, it, it can get better, but that's actually a good place for um, cancer to be. And out of all these cups, there is a connection coming. Um, could be another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Could be a water sign, because I'm seeing and feeling that with this Queen of Cups. Um, somebody new is getting ready to come in. Got to get that energy level picked up, or you're if you know if you're if you're brokenhearted and you're trying to attract somebody new. The old way of doing it is only going to get you the same type of person you had before. Got to get that vibration up. Got to get your thought patterns up. You've got to be happy. The best way to attract good things in your life is, is constant happiness, joy, and bliss. Um, you just respond to things better, too, when you're in a better state of mind. All right. Again, the Queen of Cups, that's strong energy when it comes from two different decks. Um, there is somebody coming. You are going to pull your energy together. You are going to pull your energy together. You've got the Six of Wands. There it is. Uh, that Six of Wands is kind of like a midpoint victory. You, you're beginning to know that there's better things for you. You are one of these people who had a tendency to wait for the other shoe to drop. Like, okay, what's going to happen next? What can happen to me now? You know, it, and, and anytime you carry that kind of energy, anytime you carry that kind of question, the universe is going to match that and give you what you're thinking of. Can't pay the electric bill. Oh, my. Guess what? You may not be able to pay the electric bill. Um, if you go at, about it in a different way, so you know what? Things are going to happen. I've got the electric bill to, to pay, and the universe is going to bring me something. Bam, it's going to happen. <clears throat> All right, we also have the Knight of Swords that comes up here. Did we have another knight back here? Uh, we had a couple of knights. That change is um, inevitable, you know, and this guy's coming in on a fast horse, too. You may not expect this when it does come your way. Um, you're going to get communication. And I think this may be from the past person that you were dealing with. Um, this is somebody that isn't done. You know, they want, I think they want one more shot. Like, an, you know, I, I don't know that they're even going to offer a real apology. It is as though they want to step back in the way it had been going before. Hang on. Because you've got the lover's card. This is a new energy coming in. This isn't the same old, same old that you had. Mm -mm. Um, oftentimes when the lover's card comes up, it is reflects a twin flame energy also. This is a little more karmic. This is more uh, something that has been destined for you. All right, Cancer, there you have it. Um, we had a little bit of a response from the light. Okay, we had a little response <laughs> from the light. Once in a while it does it. Um, if that resonated with you, please drop down, hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Um, and let your friends know about the magic light. All right, moving on to Pisces. See you guys in a moment. All right. Pisces, welcome, welcome. Um, I had a good conversation with light in between videos while I was shuffling. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. A little bit of a lag there. I don't have not enough coffee. Every time I have an issue with what I'm doing, I blame it on not enough coffee. Keep your eye on that paranormal flashlight because it was working really good in between videos. I carried on an entire conversation with it, asking it if it needed new batteries. It responded by letting me know it did not. 
Um, all right. You know what? I think I need one more. There it is. Yeah, Pisces, you've been waiting for something to change too. We've got that Ace of Wands in reverse, or the Ace of uh, Swords in reverse. You've kind of been hoping and hanging on and, and, and <clears throat> looking for an opportunity to come by, but you're not getting to see. I'm going to turn this just a little bit so I can catch. Hang on. Um, I'm hoping to get a better angle so that I can see some of the orbs in the room. Oftentimes you will see orbs flying around over here underneath the flashlight. Uh, of course, I have a little bit of a altar set up here. There is my, of course, you can barely see him, but I have my handicapped uh, deceased son up there who's now in spirit. Um, he also helps bring in some uh, good energy. <clears throat> All right. Um, but I wanted to be able to dial in some of that orb activity if it happens. If you see it, put it in the comments. All right. Yeah, you've been hanging around waiting, waiting, waiting. Hoping that something would come up, something obvious. You were hoping for a sign. <clears throat> you were conflicted. Um, you weren't sure if you wanted to move forward or not. You kind of like the status quo the way it is right now. I'm getting like everything is um, the way you want it. Not too complicated. Not too simple. You're kind of in a little bit of a rut there, Pisces. And that's what that Eight of Wands is all about, too. <clears throat> Looking like a rut. Same old, same old, same old, same old, same old. Look at them. Same old. Um, you might also be getting a communication. This can mean, also mean a communication coming through. Um, they also represent, they kind of look like telephone lines, old-fashioned power lines. You know, communication coming through. Uh, Pisces, I'm feeling like you were a little bit torn, didn't know which way to go. Um, there was a decision you needed to make, didn't want to, kind of kept a blind eye to what was going on around you. And now you're looking like you're, you're tired of doing the juggling, tired of waiting. You know, like, why am I holding this whole thing in the air if I'm not going to hear from X, Y, Z? <clears throat> Um, you were waiting for a past person, and that is the Seven of Pentacles here. <clears throat> you were waiting for a past person to extend an olive branch. You wanted to reconnect with them. Kind of wanted that in a, in a really bad way. <clears throat> and that is the Four of Cups. Came up in reverse. Um, as you can see, that one cup is coming out of that cloud, and um, yet you're still waiting. The message didn't come from that person, did it? You know, the hell with waiting on them. The hell with that. Um, you know, you've got a uh, um, Knight of Wands here. Riding a fast pony, coming in, bringing that change in. Things are going to get better. Pisces, let that um, old energy go. Let it, it wasn't serving you before. It was even a little bit toxic. But you, you, you were in love. Pisces, you were in love. Um, but here's that new start and that new beginning you were hoping for. <clears throat> there is somebody new coming on out on the periphery there. This may be, we're going to clarify that. This could be right now, I'm feeling like it could be, it may start out as just a friendship, kind of an associate, somebody to hang out with, catch a cup of coffee with, drink a beer with. Um, but it is going to gradually build the way relationships should. It is going to gradually get better, get stronger. You're going to get more confident in this connection with this other person that jumped out and then back in. I will pull it out. All right. 
Can I get a couple more jumpers for Pisces, please? There we have it. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. And that jumper that ended up clear on the floor was that two of pinnacles. Bam, repeating energy. When it comes out of two different decks, just know that it is meant to come out. <clears throat> let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna line up more of these cards as they as they match. I like matching up the old energies. Let's see what else do we have here. Okay. Um, you know what? We have the star card. You haven't completed it. It's came up in reverse. You haven't finished that healing yet. It's still skeptical, still worried. Um, not sure if you're going to put your best foot forward, so to speak, because you're wanting to attract somebody new, but yet you're, you kind of, you're still reluctant, still reluctant. So the healing isn't completed yet. And in order for that healing to, to happen, You've got to go deep inside and do your own shadow work. And that is simply some of those things that have been hounding us since we were kids. You know, that hurt that we got as little children. We've got the nine of cups. Um, that, that's, you're almost there at the wish fulfillment. You know, you've got nine cups full of wishes, but you're still kind of waiting. You're still reluctant. Look at that. The posture is like, mm, prove it to me. Prove it to me. Something good come and prove it to me. But as long as you have that kind of energy, you're, you're, you've already got a wall up. It's not going to come in. It's not going to happen. Um, but you need to continue working on that healing. Um, you've got a definite decision you're going to have to make. Uh, it is something that you're going to need to cut off. As you make that decision, like, I'm no longer going to worry about this. I am going to put this in the past. Uh, I'm going to separate myself from it and step away from it. And that is the decision that needs to be made. And then you've got the happily ever after card. Uh, that sun card comes up that it's going to bring that new beginning. It's going to bring that new love. Uh, it's going to shine warmth on you that that you've been waiting for. All right, Pisces, there you have it. Um, not much activity from the light. Uh, if this resonated with you, please hit that like button and subscribe. Um, moving on to Scorpio. Yes, Scorpio. See you in a moment. Hello, Scorpios. Welcome back. Getting ready to do a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. I have the paranormal flashlight set up. It is starting to work a little bit again. Some days they just don't respond with the light. Um, they have maybe have more important things to do. Uh, I am honored and I feel very privileged anytime spirit does take control of that light and it is on. Yes, it is on. Um, Anytime they take control of that light and give me validation during a reading, I am, I, I can't thank them enough. That's my spirit team. Thank you back there on the light. That's my love team. All right. Can I get some jumpers for Scorpio? Looks as though there was a lot that wanted out for Scorpio. Um, actually, we have enough here. We have enough to move forward. Scorpio, you are now getting out of that Hermit energy. 
Um, you've kind of been in limbo for a minute, holding tight, um, staying, keeping to yourself, um, trying to figure out some things, working on your own energy and your own healing. Yes, working on your own healing and getting ready to move forward. Um, we have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Um, you've been battling with yourself on this, um, Scorpio. You have not wanted to move forward. You've been holding yourself back, kind of reluctant to um, allow anything new to come in. You know, both of those knights are about bringing in a little bit of forward momentum, letting you know that there's going to be some change coming. They're kind of representing, um, you know, they both have armor on, and Scorpio, so do you. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. Um, you've got your protection on. You've got walls up. You've got to let that down. I know you were hurt. We've got the Three of Swords that came up for you. You were absolutely hurt. Took you to, a, a minute to recover from this also. It was not easy. You felt um, betrayed. You felt devastated. The Six of Cups. You know, there, there may have been a big difference in something here for the two of you. Whether it was age, race, religion. There was a difference that was going on here. And it really made it feel like it was just kind of like insurmountable. You know, are we ever going to get past this? Um, are we ever going to get into the, the basics of just being in love with each other? Thank you, Spirit on the Light. You know what, I'm going to adjust that just so you guys can get it and see it better. I hope I don't mess it up for them. All right. Spirit, I hope I didn't goof that up for you. Um, but there was a, a big difference, and you kept waiting. Like, when are we going to get past that part? Thank you, Spirit. Um, when are we going to get into the real nuts and bolts of this thing? And it, you know what? It kept coming back to this. You know what? Same old argument over and over again. Same old thing. Um, you knew how it was going to end. We've got the five of swords. So, and that five is always about change. Um, sometimes it's painful for change. Again, I feel like you were stuck in some kind of a, a limbo in it or in some kind of a rut with this relationship. You've got the nine of cups, or excuse me, the king of cups. Wow. Uh, king of cups comes in for you. There is a new connection going to come through. This is somebody that's going to offer you um, a piece of their heart. Um, and that's what the King of Cups is all about. He is looking and receptive to making a connection with you. Now that, even though I'm mentioning it as the King, it, it can be the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine that I'm talking to. Um, the King just happens to be the depiction. <clears throat> and then you have the Ten of Pentacles. Now that's all about a happily ever after card. That's about moving forward. It's about stepping outside of the gates and seeing what's new and seeing what's fresh. Um, Scorpio, things are going to begin to pick up a little bit for you financially too. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. <clears throat> It's, that's been a concern for you. And once things pick up a little bit, um, as far as your personal income, you're going to feel a little more comfortable. You're going to feel a little more confident. And then when that world card comes up, you're going to be ready for it. Because there it is. Bringing about all that new opportunity. You're going to be able to get out. You're going to see things. You're going to be able to do more. All right, hang on. Let's uh, go ahead and get a few jumpers to clarify out of the other deck. Spirit, can I get a couple clarifiers for Scorpio? I'm always humbled when they use that light for me. So 
Sometimes it takes several trips through the deck in order for the right card to get in the right place to make the right move to make the leap. All right, may I get a couple more jumpers, please? There they go. There they go. <clears throat> yeah, you didn't want to make that choice. You were kind of hanging there. Stuck in a little bit of a limbo thing here with this two of swords. You needed to cut somebody out, but you didn't. Kind of was, you, got, you were moving slow on this. Like I said, you had your guard up. How could you? Um, we've got the Knight of Wands coming in. And of course, that is a repeating energy. It could be a fire sign that you're dealing with. But this is that change. And when it comes in, it's going to happen quick. Um, he, you know, he's on a fast horse. Look at it. It's not quite rearing up, but man, it's, it's ready to take off on a gallop. Um, so that change is going to come about rather quickly. And we've got the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is all about um, a little bit of a celebration. You know, you're letting that guard down. You're allowing new, fresh energy to come in. Thank you, Spirit, on that light. <clears throat> and you're headed the right direction. Bam. Bam. The Lover's card. Um, there is a new connection that's coming for my Scorpios. As a matter of fact, a lot of uh, depictions of this Lover's card. There is um, a little tiny scorpion hid somewhere in the picture. But this is all about a deeper connection, too. This just isn't, you know, you're going to meet a soulmate. Most likely, it's going to be a twin flame. Now... A twin flame is a type of a soulmate, um, tenfold, okay? Um, don't have time to get into what a soulmate actually is or what a twin flame actually is, but this is a deeper connection for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, there you have it. Um, if it resonated, hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Never leave you guys that I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon, water signs.